Hi crafty friends, I'm Chantel, welcome back to Craft It Pretty. Here is the best place for you to learn everything you need to know about making and selling your handmade paper craft projects. So, let's dive it in. So guys, today's project is these little sets. I so showed them to you, I think yesterday or the day before. Um, still don't know what to call them, I've been calling them like cutie pooties and... I don't know, stationary set, I've got no idea. So if you've got any suggestions of names, just write it down below and we'll, we'll, we'll work that out. Um, yes, yeah, so let me show you inside. You can see it's got a nice big bow on the front, space here to write someone's name with my um, silhouette machine, obviously, not by hand. Although I have been doing hand lettering lately and it's not too bad, actually. It's got a little pen to go with it. Fasten it with an a, um, elastic... I'll get it off. Okay, all right. I didn't go as I planned it to go, but it's off, it's fine. Plastic hair tie thingy. And you open it up and look inside, it's so cute. So this side we've got lots of, um, there's five envelopes and mini card looks. Really, really cute. I will show you one of them in a minute actually, and I'll show you how I tied it as well. Obviously it's a tutorial, so that's what you're gonna learn. Um, this side you've got, uh, what are they called? Sticky, sticky notes, sticky notes there clipped on with a um, bulldog clip, <laughs> I'm forgetting all my words, and then I've made these, this, um, what's it called, a calendar, oh my god, I think it's the sun, I've made a calendar to go in there with different um, choppers, yeah, so it's from, starts from July 18 to June next year, so I thought there's no point in doing it at the beginning of January, obviously, because we're in July. So that makes no sense. Yeah, and it's just really cute, all cased up together, and it's so simple to make. There we go, so that's what we're gonna do. Today is a 10 minute tutorial. I've not actually tested the theory that it takes 10 minutes, so we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, let me show you what you need to, to actually make it. To make the base, what you're gonna need is some cardboard. This is just normal cardboard box. You can also use grey board. I don't use like cereal packets and stuff, it's too thin. Um, you could buy grey board as well from Amazon. I used to get it from there before I realised that I just, that I get tons of boxes for the deliveries that I've got. Like, why not just use those? So that's what I use at the moment. So I'm going to be cutting these into to size. I don't know the measurements just yet, but I will tell you as I'm going along. So I'm about to cut my cardboard. I've measured it to, I think it's about 10 and a half wide there and about 6, 17, 17 high. So that's it. But what I'm gonna do is just put it against this and draw around it twice. That just makes it a bit easier to do really. Um, and the spine bit is about four and a half centimeters wide as well yours can be different measure meters but measure meters measurements as long as they match and um, the front and the back's the same it doesn't really matter what measurements you use really so i'm just going to draw around it now if i can find a pencil so i'm just marking off the points i usually do this in batch so i usually do about 10 at a time which makes life a lot easier. Right, so I'm just going to cut this down now. Obviously, you don't need to watch me cutting that down, so I'm just going to go and do that. So in the next stage, you're going to need the cardboard that you've just cut, the pieces, the front, the back, and the spine, A4 piece of paper, that's going to be your outer cover, this bit here, and some glue of your choice. You can use wet glue, you can use tape pen. I find with cardboard and tape pen, it doesn't stick very well. And so that's why I prefer to use the, the wet glue. So you're going to lay out your A4 piece of paper and then arrange them onto your um, A4 card. So what you're going to do when you lay it out is you're just going to leave a little space in between the two middle ones. So you're going to have the back or front, bit of space. This is where it's going to bend. If you don't have that space then it sort of it doesn't bend really and it just it just ruins the whole thing so that's what you need to do first and then I'm just gonna put glue on all these bits and turn them over and stick them down making a bit of a mess but you know there's glue that's what we do I'm gonna do this and I'll be right back 
But glue them now, it's going to stick them down. Good thing with wet glue is obviously you can wiggle it a little bit to get it exactly where you need it. It's just a little score line. This makes it a lot easier when you're going to bend it up. Nice crisp edges. Obviously paper crafters, we love crisp edges. And I'll do a light, little light one. We don't want to go too deep with this one. That just helps it bend on the outside. Okay, so I'm just going to bend it up all the way around. Turn it around. Do it around here. Yep, and then we're good to go. Should all fold in nice and neatly, just like that. Cool. So we're going to put glue all along these edges now and we're going to work for it to stick. Move this out of the way. You can see I've sort of switched angles here. I've not filmed tutorials before, this is the first one I've done. So um, I'm still getting used to <laughs> what angles to use and things like that. So I'm sure it's going to change a few more times before the end of this tutorial. I've also used um, red liner tape, really, really, really good, but you end up using a lot of it. So um, in order not to waste, you know, precious red liner. Whoever's a true paper craft and you know about red liner, you don't want to waste that. <laughs> so um, yeah, wet glue is a good option. It just takes a few minutes to stick. So I'm gonna hold this down and I'll be right back. So I finished gluing it down and the glue is just about stuck. So we're ready, ready to move on to the next stage. As you can see, see this is what happened to me last time, right? And I spent it hours putting that back into the pot because it was a bigger pot than that every single time i tell you this happens but that's just a warning to always put the lid on your glue anyway i'm just gonna get well not get rid of it i'm gonna obviously put that back in the bottle we don't like waste and then we're gonna move on to the next bit i think i'm making more mess than i'm clearing up here but um Better believe we're not wasting this glue. We are not wasting this glue. Mm -mm -mm. I believe I'm putting the lid on this time. So what we're going to do is go around the corners and just um, burnish, I think the word is, burnish it. Just so we've got nice crisp edges all the way around. Oops. Beautiful and straight, look at that. It's lovely. I'm working outside, so you can obviously hear lots of cars going on behind me. Yeah, that just makes it nice and crisp and, and clean. So what you need to do now is get insert paper. So that can be a normal piece of paper. Um, if you make cards, you might have inserts. Anything to put inside here to line this, really. Um, and then we're going to measure it and stick it down. So this is going to be the outside, so I've chosen this to be the insert. It doesn't have to be exact matching because it's obviously going to be covered by a lot of stuff as well. But I thought that was quite cute, nice little offset there. Where I'm going to measure is the way I always measure. Very simple. To do the um, top bit, I'm just going to put it in the middle. We don't want it right to the edge because then when you bend it in the middle, it um, will fold up and look a bit strange. So it needs to be just to the edges obviously I keep forgetting that it's already got glue there let me put the strip back for now that's how you know it's a box that I've used <laughs> it's like those strips that you get you know like when you're ordering from Amazon and stuff okay so we're gonna do it here we can obviously do it on the wrong side so you don't see any of this so about here it's just approximate really and then about here. Okay, I'm going to cut that now.
that's cut now so just bend if you crease these bits in first just so that it's gonna bend in rather than bend out and pucker so just get the folder there now and we're gonna put this inside I'm obviously doing this upside down so you're gonna do this the right way around put it in I've usually got my scoring tool down here but it's it's somewhere in the garage so <laughs> And if you see the garage, there's just so much paper and stuff in there at the moment that I'm not even going to attempt to find it. So I'm just using my pokey tool. Uh, I'm not digging in, I'm just scoring downwards on the creases that are underneath. And that's so we can bend it in nicely. So now the crease marks that you've made, you're going to um, burnish it. This is fine. This will make it so much easier when you stick it down so that it stays um, in place when it's open and when you close it as well. If you don't do it properly, when you close it, it will pucker out and then when you open it, it will be too small and it will, um, it will rip in the middle. And I know that because I've actually done it. So <laughs> I know the consequences. All right, so we can stick this down. You can use a tape pen for this one. Like, this is like tape pen bingo really because I don't know which tape pen is um, full and which one is finished so we're going to find out <laughs> as we go along <laughs> oh dear I find they run out so quickly who else finds that? I find they run out so quick oops, I think this one's done Luckily I bought loads, I think this one's finished, I don't know. Luckily I bought loads, I think it was a bog off offer. It was 9 99 on Create and Craft for six tape pens, you got six tape pens free. So I thought that was quite good. Usually it's six for 9 99 plus delivery I thought I am not paying that. That is ridiculous. Especially if they don't last very long. But anyway, so now you're just going to line it up. And because we've already, already made the crease marks, you know that as long as it's lined up in the middle, it will be lined up on the outside as well. So put the middle down and then you're gonna crease the middle down as well. And then crease the middle down. And then I like to just bring it up and do it there. And then it should, yeah, it should be in the right position. If it's not, you can always just undo it and stick it and then redo it again. Yeah, there we go. So, I'm just going to adjust this a little bit, there, so it's a better, a better lay. Alright, do the other side. Yep, perfect. So these bits are puckering a little bit, so what I'm going to do is just add a little extra glue, a little extra wet glue in there, and then that will stick down nicely. There we go, we've got the folder.